guys in this video I'm going to show you how to set up toggle mic mute in Apex so I found a reddit post a few years old now um, that kind of lays out how to do it um, so shout out to space alien and Gordon they basically um, laid it out I tried the way that uh, space alien had said to do it I wasn't able to get it to work um, this way but I was able to figure it out uh, the way that Kurt and this guy uh, mentioned how to do it. So I'm just going to show you how to do that now. So basically in Apex, you have two sort of options for um, talking to your friends. You have push to talk and open mic. Both have pros and cons. Push to talk um, sucks because you have to press down a button and hold it uh, to talk. And then when you let go, it mutes the mic. Um, but that's cumbersome because you have to press the button down and hold it to talk. And if you're in the middle of a fight, it's not that good. Open mic, on the other hand, you don't have to press anything down on your keyboard or controller, whatever the input is. But for you to talk to somebody in your house or mute your microphone for whatever reason, you have to go into settings and push it back to push to talk. You have to constantly open it up and mute your microphone. That's not that good. So uh, toggle mic mute is the third option that we're going to uh, put into play here. I prefer it over the other ones. Um, so Overwatch has this. I'm going to quickly show you Overwatch now. Let me get my webcam out of the way. So here's Overwatch. So in the settings, see how it says toggle mic, mic mute? This is what we're going to set up for Apex. So basically, when I press the M button on my keyboard in the game, it will just open my mic up and then close the mic. That way you don't have to press anything down. You just tap the button once and it will swap from the mic being open and the mic being closed. They should have that in Apex, but for whatever reason, they don't. So this is fairly uh, easy. So what you have to do, first go into Apex and go over to your key binds and scroll down to push to talk. You need to unbind this. So you can't have this bound to anything because we're basically going to be using this push to talk as the muted microphone option. So if there's a button bound here, unbind it. Then you're going to want to take this line of code here and alter it first. So you take this line here and you can change the V. Whatever this is in here in between the parentheses, that's the button you're going to use on your keyboard to turn on and turn off your microphone in the game. So for this example, we're going to leave it on V. So you would take this entire line here, copy it, and then you would go to where you have your Apex settings saved this. So this is what you're going to be looking for. Users slash username, save game, respawn, Apex, local, settings.cfg. So you take this, once you alter it, copy that, and then you go to where the settings.cfg files are saved on your desktop. So, so for me, that's right here. You're going to open up the settings.cfg file, go to notepad, and then you're going to paste in that code, either at the top, at the bottom, in the middle, it doesn't matter. It's as long as it's one straight line and it's not interfering with the other ones. You save it, you X out of it, and now it should work in game. All right, so we're in the game. I'm going to show you how it works. So I have my controller on, and once I press the button that I have it bound to, it will automatically open up the mic. So if you see at the bottom left near my name, my mic is open and my mic's working. And now when I press the button again, it closes the microphone. Um, so if you look at the bottom left, you'll see that it's off. I'm talking and it's not going through the game. And then when I press the button again, now it's open and it's working. So the way that you can check this, you go to your menus, go to audio, see if it's on open mic right now, close it, press the button that you have, 
and now look it's on push to talk so same thing for the MK people um, whatever button you have that on bound to on your keyboard it should work you just press that button once you don't have to hold it just tap it it will swap it to open mic press it again and it will close it and put it to push the talk and close it now one thing I forgot to mention earlier is on your keybinds whatever you're using for this action you can't have it bound to something else like if you're using Q for it you can't have Q bound to something else or it's not going to work it has to be something that is completely not used if that makes any sense it can't be used for anything else all right hope this helps if you have any questions uh, leave a comment down below I will pin the reddit post because they did all the work I just happened to stumble across it and I didn't see any videos online for it um, so I figured I would make one if you'd like me to make a video for how I figured this out to uh, bind it on my controller um, I can definitely put that up as well it's just one extra step um, for those controller players you would need to use like a program like Rewazd on your PC. That way you can mimic a button press on your controller to uh, MK input. All right, guys, like the video if you enjoy, and I will see you later.